You got an ashtray, bro? In frame. Oh, the ashtray right there. I got it all set for you. Omar? Yo. What's up? We're back. Yo. Good to see what's you. Up, We're freaking up, back. The boys are in studio. Yeah. Guys, I had a freaking crazy day today. How was you guys is this day? Guys, this was, days was good. It was cool. Was chilling. You guys were chilling today or what? Off day from work. Nah, I was, I was just, I was chilling. I was chilling, yeah. Where yeah, are you I from, was, Zuri? Brooklyn, man. Brooklyn? Brooklyn? Yeah. What part of Brooklyn? The Mecca. Crown Heights. Crown Heights? All right, yeah. bro. So when I used to work in real yeah. estate, I used to spend a lot of time on the border, Bed-Stuy and Crown, Crown Heights. Crown Heights. Okay. That's dope. You familiar with Bed-Stuy at all? A little bit. Yeah. You know, I walk through there. I played some Biggie. Yeah. You know, yeah. You played some what? I played some Biggie Smalls, you know. <laughs> all right. Respect. Oh, yeah. bed of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of course we'd know that. Yeah. By the way, guys, Omar's yeah. third time on the podcast. Third. Third time, man. Let's go. Is there third a time. podcast guy or what? A little bit, yeah. All right, man. Well, I am right now. Ground yeah. rules. Don't Let's say go. anything homophobic or racist, and we'll be good. You know. Got you. <laughs> yeah. Got you. So what's good, boys? What um what's on tap for tonight? What's on? Oh, shit, we were what's chilling. chilling. Yeah, this chilling. is what we're, we're chilling. doing. Yeah. Omar brought over cookies brought and cookies. cupcakes, and he goes, "Ted, look, I brought you some cookies and cupcakes." And you guys know through the yeah. goddamn camera and through the sound waves that your boy is vegan. 100%. That was crazy. Omar crazy. was like, "Oh my bad, bro, I forgot." So no if you respect. ate a steak right now, you'd be sick. I think the p- viewers and listeners would be sick, Omar. Like red first yeah. things first. You know yeah. I was going to go vegan like a week Dude, ago. We didn't talk about this. A week ago? You, like, you didn't reach ago, out to your actually. boy? I was going to go because I had the worst experience. I, I went to Outback <laughs> Steakhouse. Yeah. With your girl, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Went there. Nice little right? date spot. Not really. It was horrible. Horrible. Why? Why? Bro, Give us the juice. I'm going to stay sharp for a little bit. And before, we even, before we even started, right, to put the plate on the table, the guy almost spilled the sizzle and hot plate on my shoulder. He was like, oh, shit, and dropped the plate on the fucking table and walked was away. Was he joking? No, he actually said, <laughs> oh, shit, and walked away. He's like, I was like, fuck. And then I cut the steak, and the steak was like bloody. Like, I'm talking about blood. Well, how'd you ask for it? Rare? About that, uh, medium yeah. rare, right? Okay, okay. But it was okay. like... I killed it with the fork when I put my shit in. Oh, it shit. Do you disgusting. have appetizers before that, though, that okay. would have made the meal better? Yeah, I had, like, some wings or something. It was good, but then that shit was so bloody. I was like, I would never eat an animal Medium again rare? in my life. It was so Medium bad. rare? Medium rare, but then it was, like, rare, rare. Wait, you said you were never going to eat an animal again in your entire life, and then what happened? This week happened? <laughs> and then I had a good steak. McDonald's also, happened. You know what? That's the <laughs> situation, like, people, when they get super drunk, they're like, I'm never drinking again. Then the yeah. weekend comes, you're hitting a few drinks. You big drinkers or you what? I'm a big drinker. Yeah. What kind of stuff do you drink? Vodka sodas. Bro, the two, the, I feel like the two times we met, you keep that hat pretty low. Yo, people be t- yo yo. I take I took off my hat. Y'all can stop talking about this shit. <laughs> Y'all can see my face. All right. It's nice to see your like face, see. bro. And you got good locks too, man. You got to let it flow. Thank you. Thank you. What Mets jersey is that? Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza, man. Come on, oh, bro. Come can on. You imagine, I just guessed the, like that. You did the for legend. real. The legend, bro. 06 Mets are great, man. I was watching the, the Derek teams. Jeter documentary. You guys peep that? I did not have no, a captain. Watch it. Yet, they were talking. The captain, yeah. They were talking about uh, the time when Roger Clement, when Mike Piazza hit the ball and like the bat broke off, and then Roger Clemens took the bat and yeah. fired it at Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza handled that pretty well. Shit, yeah, I don't watch baseball. Cool, really calm, and collected. Yeah, yeah baseball is, was my first love. So my for me, I picked friend. between it was either tennis or baseball, mm. and I picked tennis. I became for the most part pretty serious about tennis. Went and played college tennis. But dude, I think I mean, or did you actually play baseball a lot growing up? I tried out. You, you just a fan? <laughs> I tried out for the team. I, I just, didn't make the team. I didn't same, want, same. dude. I didn't want the outfielders missing fly balls and then me being responsible for like having to pitch the rest of the inning or like also being a shortstop was one of the harder positions. So I felt like that because that was my main position, shortstop, shortstop and pitcher. Yeah. Uh, but I just felt like tennis. It was just like it seemed like it was going to be easier. Tennis was fun. I did a little bit of tennis. A little okay. bit of tennis. And there was like a little tennis court where the new Yankee Stadium's at right now. Oh, yeah. Dude, I used to play there oh, in the sure. Bronx uh, it, right, tennis league. Yep, right across the street from the park. What was that place called, bro? I have no clue. Show it was like Bronx right Indoor now. Tennis or something. Yeah, yeah. By the water. Yeah, I forget what it was called. I don't Stadium know. Racket Club. Yes. That's exactly it's what it's called. It's in um, Mills Park, <laughs> right? Mills something park. I don't remember, but it was, it was right next to the Yankee Stadium. Right, right over there. I was playing... I did it for like a week and then I think I got hit really hard in the eye with the ball. Like somebody like just went like they picked it up and just whack and God smacked damn. me right in my eye. And you I was like, yeah, bro. Return to serve or something? Yeah, bro. That's not like, that's you not not I dropped the racket. <laughs> you ain't return to serve bro. or something? Yeah. Jeez, yeah. He spiked. Bam. I was like, yeah. okay. Dropped the racket. I was out. And my boy Amadou <laughs> did it to me. Amadou? Amadou fucking boy got anymore. me. Yeah, he's not. He fucking got me on that one. Fuck. 
So Omar, it's been a it's been a minute since you've been on the podcast, man. Last time you came on the podcast, you were spitting stories. Zuri, your first time on the podcast. First time. So what do you two have in common besides comedy, and then also being the former half of Prohibition comedy? We had Matt McCoy on the podcast previously. Yeah, 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 the yeah. black half. Oh yeah, of exactly. Prohibition. The black half of Prohibition <laughs> black comedy. The black half. The Def Jam comedy side. The Prohibition. The other side. Yeah, yeah. So is that how you guys first met? Prohibition comedy. Now we met at Eastville. Uh, yeah. Uh, at open yeah. mics. We used to do pandemic open mics. At, at Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn? Yep. All yep. day, every day. Every day, we used to go from Monday to Sunday. Seven, the, yep. what, the five and the seven. Yep. Right? Sounds very, very depressing. Yes. Oh, man. How it was, was it? It was. Oh, it was great. I mean, you, know? you two met <laughs> each other, so it was a beautiful friendship that formed. Yeah, now, yeah. We, we all met like that. Amazing. And now look yeah, at this right. friendship we've got here. Guys, by the way, today like I was on the street. I had uh, Omar and Zuri check out my Instagram story before they came on the podcast. Superman on the street. It was fresh, yes, man. So yes. we'll get some clips to you shortly. But for those of you who don't know, Omar helps out with the clips, does all the subtitles, and has been doing a great job, man. OD. Stickers and subs. Yo, stickers are killing right now. Yeah, dude. Stickers so are killing right now. We've had some good action. The heaviest watched one was the Michael Jordan or LeBron James clip that has 12.5 million views right now on IG. I'm not sure if you saw that. Too. No, I did it? see that. And I realized, I was like, oh, that's that nigga. I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, I was like, wait, I was like, I seen this dude before. I was like, wait, that's I'm, amazing. No, and the thing is, yeah. I, I saw the video just scrolling through the gram. Like I wasn't, I was just, I swear to God, I was just scrolling through the gram. Let's go. <laughs> it's crazy. People at right? my job were like, <laughs> somebody showed, somebody showed me that. And then I was like, that was me. I edited that. I was, he was like, wait, no wait, way. Somebody showed you the clip. <laughs> that sign? clip. And I was like, yo, yeah, that, that was me. Two times somebody did that. It's okay. rolling. O Omar came in and he goes, you're like a cookie. So I was like, double hopefully they're not up. too strong. Yeah. And also, bro, I haven't eaten today. So like, I don't think I could break my fast with any type of cookie. Oh, wow. Are you fast? Like a, little, a little bit. Yeah, bro. Oh, I'd like yeah, to yeah, intermittent yeah. fast. And also today I was like super busy okay, running okay, around. Okay. I just don't have time. And when I do have time just to eat something quick, I put beans and chickpeas in a bowl with hot sauce and just mm. eat it. The $3 lunch, bro. It's, like <laughs> it's hard to eat when you're vegan. I was vegan for like three days. Three days. Three days. The and struggle. I was ordering Uber Eats. Me too, bro. Talk yeah. about expensive, man. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. That <laughs> will be the death of me. Oh 30 plus dollars, no matter what, no matter where you're at. Oh, like, yeah. I remember you used to be able to get it for like between 17 and like $22. So it made like, ordering in like it, it makes sense. Not so bad. Because like you'll go to Chipotle, you'll spend what, 13 bucks. I've never had Chipotle. I ain't going to lie. I've never had Chipotle. This is a confession. I've, I've avoided that my whole life. I've never had Chipotle, bro. I fucking hate Chipotle, though. Nigga, if Wait, I... What? Both if, of you. If I want a fucking burrito or some chicken and rice, I'm going to a Mom Spanish... Pops. Yeah, yeah what the bro, fuck? I feel you. And you also get I'm way just, more yeah. for your buck, too. Yeah, like, like, you get a burrito for tacos for the same price as you would yeah. for Chipotle. Do you not go to stores like that in general to get lunch? No, I do sometimes. Like, I mean, fucking Popeye's, I... Yo, can't I resist. I can't resist, man. Hey, <laughs> niggas yeah, got you guys me. tried they the Jolly Bee yet? Everybody's hyping up this Jolly Bee. It's supposed to be like the I've best seen fried chicken. J O L I B E. I've heard of that. But they don't I've, have it in I've New York City. I don't think they have one now in Forty uh, Second Street. They had a timer on the wall <laughs> when it was, was going to open. Serious? Yeah, what and what people is it? Been, just fried chicken. They have hot dogs and spaghetti. Spaghetti. That's random. Uh, yeah, hot dogs, spaghetti, and fried chicken. I'm good. Yo, I'm and good. nuggets. Have you had crown fried before? No, I haven't. You haven't had crown fried? No, I've crown. seen it though. Are like, you from here? Yeah, I'm from New You're York. From oh, Adam, so I moved here when I was six weeks old from Jersey. My mom Yo. and dad both got jobs here. Mm. I've been here ever since, except Jersey. I went to college. You got to do a video, get some crown fried chicken, man. Bro, I'm vegan. How am I going to get crown fried oh, yeah, chicken? You vegan? <laughs> oh, yeah, you vegan, my <laughs> nigga. talking about this right Fuck. on the top. Talking yeah. about how I have to have crown fried chicken. <laughs> I'm trying episode, to get him to turn. I'm trying to. Episode 13, we did have. <laughs> the Popeyes versus Chick Fil A chicken sandwich. Oh, yeah. So one of those two won it. That was the last time I had meat, man, on this podcast, episode wow. thirteen. Wow. So that was a long time ago. What yeah. episode are we now? Episode two sixty eight, bro. Two sixty. So it was a while ago, and then our three year anniversary was last week. So thank you guys so much wow. for the three year Congrats. anniversary wishings for the podcast. That's good. But yeah, man, we're on here uh, twice a week, as you know, of course, uh, Mondays and Thursdays, shooting the shit, whatever, talk about whatever. If you guys have any topics or thoughts on the podcast in general, tedjonesworld at gmail.com. Hopefully, I'll keep up this sharpness post hitting <laughs> two of those joints here. Uh, Mocha Double Shot Energy. This is yours, Omar? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but do you, can you? No, you can't. I don't think I can. Let's see. It's like, Bro, there's so much shit in here. Why don't you just have it black and then put almond milk in it? I was thinking. 
I was on the fly though. Thirty grams of sugar. Mm. Come on, bro. I thought you were like on your intense workout grind. I Come was on, on the what? intense wait, workout wait, what? grind. Oh, you didn't hear this? You know, Last yo, time I was, was on the podcast, man. He was talking about starting a little test. Yeah, like testosterone. Can I just say something? As yeah. long as I've known this man, yeah. it's been McDonald's for dinner. But that oh, could yeah. be good protein sometimes. Sometimes four times out the week. Damn, I do. Omar, I, I did it a lot. Up. Yeah, what? no, I, I, I ain't gonna Four lie. times out the week, bro. I'm a McDonald's <laughs> eater. You know what I got a like, message? Not be a big McDonald's. For real. Though, McDonald's is, a, is the number one restaurant, bro. Like, I, I got a message. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's number one. <laughs> number one. You I, I got a right message now? on my Uber Eats, and it said, "Hey, congratulations! You've ordered twenty orders between this time and this time." I was like, "Bro, that was it." One month. <laughs> it was like a month. But also. Do you find that it's getting a little bit too expensive where you're like, all right, this is a joke that I'm paying this much money for this process type food? I, just, I could just walk. I can't cook. So it's like, fuck. You, you, gotta, man, you cook? Yeah, I do cook. Yeah. yeah what kind of gifted. stuff do you cook? Like curry. Uh, curry? Barbecue, Damn. stew. So you're a really good cook then? I could cook, yeah, yeah. You know, because for the most part, like I use my microwave way more than I than I should. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You find yourself doing that too, Omar? I'll heat up the food that I ordered the other half. Yeah, I just won't. Yeah, but come cook, on, man. bro. I need oh, to start, on, but like, you know, when you cook, when I cook, it makes me not hungry. I'm looking at the show like, what does that you mean? Were what do you mean? You started to cook. Yeah, and I'm like, now I'm like, oh, now I'm just fuck, I'm tired. That drives me to, to cook. I'm like, nah, like, I have to cook something. Well, how long is your process of cooking, and then how long does it take you to eat it? Um, My process of cooking, it depends on what I'm making. There's certain things that might not take as long. But Let's say in general, just for when you're 45 dinner. minutes to an hour. See, overall, I could order, it. but but yeah. it, it goes pretty quick. You know, like the the only thing about cooking that's tough is cut when you cutting up potatoes, you cutting up some carrots or some shit. That's hard though, man. Nah, that's hard. I mean, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of the love onions in is what hard. You're doing. Yeah, yeah. You have onion glasses, so like when nah. you when you cut them, you don't cry. I just be crying all the time. <laughs> Every time I cut an onion, I just cry. Bag potatoes, like what, like four dollars, five dollars. Mm-hmm. Black beans, that's what, like, like a dollar, dollar fifty. Beautiful. Bag of onions, you know, maybe like two twenty. You know what I'm saying? You passionate about cooking? You like doing it? I like. Well, I, I gotten into it. I, I've gotten. I've gotten into it the past like six months. Maybe like six months where it's just like, yeah, like if I have food in the house to cook, I'm just going to cook it, bro. But during the pandemic, you weren't cooking really? Not much. I can't even lie. Like during the pandemic, I was like Grubhub and like Uber, like, you know, like same shit. But like, what was, I can't your, even what was your mindset? I don't know. You six months ago. I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm just like that. Well, being broke did <laughs> just do that too. I'm, I'm, talking, always, about a, I'm, 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 I'm talking, talking about a spiritual revolution. Like, nah, nigga, I was broke. But nah, but <laughs> at the same time too, it's like, it's nice when you just make something that you've made. You could just eat it. Like, you take some pride in that. It's like when you do a set that you've crafted yeah. out really well. Like, it's like, all right, like I, I did that shit. I have good about myself after I've cooked something. And it's like good. it tastes good and shit. Yeah. But it's, it's just good. for me, it's the... Women love it too. It's the, so. That's also true. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get on that. So you need to <laughs> make a few vegan things. If I can but the thing is, bro, it's the, it's the eating and the amount of quickness that it takes. Like, mm. you know, it's 45 minutes. How long does it take you to eat that particular meal? 10 minutes maybe tops? Yeah. You know, yeah, maybe, yeah, ten to fifteen. Then you maybe. gotta wash dishes, though. That is that's crazy. true. No, no, that's that true. true. But and when you're using a few pots, it gets right. sticky. But you for me, I, mean? I worked in kitchens like most oh, of my jobs. Kitchen. Yeah, what, so like as a sous chef, dishwasher, we'll another one, prep cook. You oh, know, you so oh, you got a grinder. Yeah, you got a grinder. Got yeah, whole nine, dog. You got the whole. Come on, you got the whole nine. thing. Is that the gas? Naked juice, dude. Gas, Naked, and yep. this is a legal marijuana dispensary on thirtieth and eighth. Oh by the shit! Way. Okay. Like, I, but I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to get nugget, and she asked me. She said, "Oh, are you single?" I was like, "Ah, oh, just follow Ted Jones World." That's follow. how fucking wired my brain <laughs> is for promo. Bro. Ted Jones World, literally, bro. So we live this shit, man. Yeah, man. Absolutely, this shit, bro. Absolutely, bro. This is the shit. We live this shit. It's gotta be working, yo. He be working. Nah, it's, you I, be I, all around. I'm saying it, I'm saying I don't it. know how you do it, man. I'll be tired as fuck. I get tired sober. <laughs> I get tired. How many hours a night are you sleeping? Not a lot ever. Same. Uh, I get like four. Like I get four. Like Donald like, Trump. Yeah, he only gets four, bro. He only gets four. I think he's gonna be the next president. Oh, let's talk about that, bro. I just think it, he is. It, like it could, it could happen. It, it really it could, could happen. happen. I just think it's gonna happen. Better question. Better question. Who you think like straight up fist fight? Is going to win a Biden versus Trump like fist fight? Biden versus Trump? What? What you think? Who who you think could Trump. get rid of Trump? 
Trump is gonna be his Trump, ass. bro. That's a crazy question. Like, yeah. like, like, I feel like Donnie T would square up. <laughs> Joe Biden would be like, eh, come on, bro. We're really yeah. squaring up right now. Can he keep his like, arms Donnie up that T long? Would, like, like knock him, him out. Right yeah. hook. Joe Biden would lose balance, and then from yeah, there, I feel on, like Trump dog. would just push him over. He like, will be him. losing balance. So he'd do one too. swing, and then push him over, and then that's about that's it. it. Knockout. A not, I don't even know be a yeah. knockout. Yeah. Be, like what? Be a tap he'd be like, out. Huh, There's no way. Come on, man. Right back, and then he'd be like, "You think you, you yeah. think Biden would swing back? I don't think Biden would swing back. I, I mean, it depends on the back. circumstance. I don't think he swing back at all. He doesn't have the energy to. He can't muster up a, a fucking punch. He be falling his asshole, bro. bro. Yo, he stay falling. I, I don't Biden. know about. I think he fell like three times know. already. Was you it know three? who eats a lot of McDonald's? Your boy Trump. Yeah, he be eating it. I think he, I think I read that he eats like one Big Mac a day. One Big Is Mac, it? a day. Big Mac, and one Coke. One of the funnier things that I think <laughs> happened, though, sorry, you guys are just looking at my ass. If you guys are, or I'll put it on Omar and Zuri right now. No, you're not. But, like, one thing that I think that's funny is, <laughs> remember when Donnie T, those kids, won the national championship? I think it was Clemson. And he brought them all to the White House, and he just fed them all McDonald's. All oh, McDonald's. 500 burgers. <laughs> and was just like, oh, you guys are great. You guys are champions. Yeah. <laughs> it's all for you. Mickey D. Big Macs. Quarter pounders. Mickey D's is ingrained into our head from like childhood. I know. Yeah, well, it is. They don't have Ronald McDonald anymore. So like, that's I don't crazy. Know what kind of they don't have them. Yeah, facts. They don't. Yeah. McDonald's used to be the shit. McDonald's used to have the ball pit. Remember the Word, ball yo. pit? Yo, the ball pit was. No, I don't I think they have those it. anymore. Yeah, I haven't seen those in a long time. That ball pit time. was crazy, bro. Yo, yo, damn, it's good. Like a whole playground man. inside of For the real. goddamn restaurant. <laughs> Good time. The parties was great, man. That's where you get great pink birthday eye. parties. You get pink eye from that shit. Oh, oh no, I don't you know if I've ever definitely been catching to a cold. A, yeah, you could. You could get pink eye. I don't know if I've ever been to a birthday party at McDonald's. What? Chuck E. Cheese. Oh well, well like oh, Chuck, e. Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese. I man. have to. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese is shit. Chuck E. Like, cheese was cool though. I wasn't. That shit like child gambling, really. <laughs> a little bit. You that shit was just weird. I don't know. It's just the lights is is dim. I don't know. It was just weird. I didn't like it. Chuck E. Cheese, you mean? Yeah. Are right, you gonna spark that? Oh, it's working. What kind of lighter is that? Oh, this is just a um. I don't know. It's that just keep fancy. Calm. Yeah, it's a little torch, you know. Nothing big. Ha, keep calm. Hit a bong. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> Love that fucking shit. Amazing, dude. Amazing. We're jumping. So you, you vegan? Go ahead. Yeah, I got you. You vegan, right? Yeah, so I'm established. Vegan. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's say <laughs> let's say the chick is bad, right? Bad she's nine or ten, like a ten, ten. Okay, right ten. That's now incredible. remarkably she, more bad than a nine. She chews a steak in her mouth. <laughs> you got to make out with her with the so steak in your her basically mouth. Basically, I went on a date with this girl. She ordered the steak. I'm putting her in a cab home because I'm a gentleman. No, no, in the in the restaurant over the dinner, she's chewing the steak. You got to give him, you got to make kiss her, make out with her. I don't know if I would reach over the table to make out with a chick though after any <laughs> circumstance though, at you the dinner table. You, I mean, but she's hot though. I'm talking about you need you want to do this so bad. But, like, I'm I mean, like looking at her. She just ate that juicy steak. Yeah, and now I'm like, and I want to so kiss. So bad. I kiss. It's now or never. She got the steak juice. Now or never. What do you mean? <laughs> like you can't you kiss like, her again like, after. Like it's like on, do it no, now. I don't, you, if this leads to more kisses going forward, then I think this is a. A circumstance which I need to capitalize on, correct? Because mm. you're saying I, I'm kissing her one time, yeah, like and I'm, she has steak in her mouth. Then probably not, bro. Because she's yeah. so bad. Because right. she's a ten. If she, if this led to more kisses, it's a different story. Tongue tongue kiss. You're gonna be tasting that animal flesh. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't, I don't know, know, man. Bro. I'm finding it's becoming difficult over the last, you know, I guess two and a half, three <laughs> years to find a girl that who I'm into. Who's vegan? Okay. Who like can deal with okay. me being nuts sometimes, like di- freaking being on the street as Superman. So, I mean, look, I understand. Look, my ex was vegan, so I I went through the same thing where she she would wouldn't want to kiss me sometimes because I just really? ate. Yeah, I but just you, ate some Were you red cooking meat. at this particular time? Nah, I wasn't. I was taking her out, paying for them expensive ass dates. Were you trying to eat vegan food like because of her? Fuck no. <laughs> How did that work ultimately? Was there like some tension she would, in the she would just get oh uh, not really, but it, it it would just be annoying. But I I didn't give a fuck, you know. I just plow how through it. Did, how I just kiss her. her for? Uh, like six months, I think it was like what, like four. Did six, you feel five, like that months? was a point in your relationship where you were like, ah, this is not going to work long term? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. 
I think you it was more so. It, it was it, more it, so it was like how an initial. It wasn't maybe a red flag, but it was a feeling. A little in your bit, stomach. yeah. Like knowing that I can't go ten years with this, or five years, or even two years with yeah. this. You know. So that's why I find it's difficult right now to it be is. kind of dating, and also but on these. Girls. I can't lie that that wasn't a deal breaker. That's what I mean. It was though. one of a few things. Yeah, it's just something that you just keep in the back of your head. But like, it must yeah. have been a bigger thing, though. Of one of the few things. Well, we had the big fight. There was a lot of things that <laughs> that were, you know, that that was not one. I'll say that that was not one. That was and on about. these dating apps, I mean, it, it's become more hard just because you have no idea what the other person is like. First of all, girls with these dating apps, they need to stop with the full sunglasses on the picture. If a girl isn't showing her eyes <laughs> enough on a dating profile, she's not smiling on her okay. dating profile. Uh, okay. That's very deceiving. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Like some girls who are just like all face, all like this, too many sunglasses. Like, let me see your eyes. She's looking away at the <laughs> camera. She's looking down. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, yeah. And then after that, I have to find out if she's vegan or not. It's right. almost like vegans need their own kind of app. Yo, Ooh. are you gonna be the creator Ooh. of the first Omar, vegan? You were just yeah, saying yeah, how much yeah. shit I got going on, bro. I don't know. I, I ain't going. But if anyone wants to come in, IP that shit. That's we'll a, good a good idea, though. I ain't gonna lie. It's a good idea. That should be yeah. a, thing. a good idea. What would it be called? I don't know. What it would be. Ooh, it gotta be something smooth. Yeah. Leaf Harmony it would be. No, nah, Leaf be Harmony. Like, yeah, but you want to keep just original. <laughs> oh, growth, growth, growth. Yeah, growth. But it's something to do with plants and vegans. So like, I don't even know. Uh, Lettuce. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you want lettuce? Lettuce. Yeah. Funny. Oh, and then, like, when you open the app, it goes. <laughs> like, when you, <laughs> and it's a green app. It's green. It's green. It's green. Yes. Yeah, it's, okay. it's all green. Let us. It's all green. Let us. Let oh. us. Yo. Oh. Put on a beat, Don DeMarco. That's what, I'm what are you talking about? I love Shit, it. Like Let the, us. This is like the video to the million dollar idea. And million, like, bro. Shark billions, tank. Shark tank. million dollars. Come on, bro. We're not doing. We're not starting it if it's a million dollar idea. We're no. talking billions. That's Cuban millions. is coming in trying to get ten percent for hundred mil. One billion shark dollar tank? valuation. You fuck with Shark Tank? I like it. I yeah. fuck with Shark Tank. I do too, tank. man. It's super interesting. I like shark Tank. Uh, yeah. Favorite product? <laughs> shark Tank, dude. Fuck. I, I've got I two on the top of my head. If you want me to go, yeah, first. go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go, go. Okay, the first one was the Ring app. You guys remember that? The yeah, doorbell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that guy, his company, they didn't get a deal apparently, mm. but his company's worth like four billion dollars now. For those yeah. of you who don't know, the Ring app, you put it outside your house, and anytime there's motion, it'll go directly to your phone and an app. Honestly, just like a brilliant idea. I don't know why they didn't invest real, in it. Man. Maybe the evaluation didn't make sense. And then the, also the second one, which has done the best out of all the deals. Lori Grenier, Grenier, I forget how to mm. say her last name. She bought Scrub Daddy. You guys remember, remember that? Scrub Daddy. Like $40 million mm. dollar company. Stupid little like that. sponge with the- Yeah, that was so <laughs> useful though. That was crazy. It was, was it so like good. Brillo or was it like a, just a sponge? I think it was mm. some Brillo type of material that just yeah. made it easy okay. to, to That's go dope. Hey, shit. Scrub Daddy's all right, but we got lettuce. We got lettuce, right? It's going to be two lettuce pieces touching- they would buy oh, this. Oh, oh. Yo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, I'm this man's right now. This man's <laughs> <thinking. laughs> This episode right. is sponsored by Lettuce, <laughs> the vegan dating app. Back to our regular programming. Word. Really you drink before you go or on stage? Yeah. Have a, have a drink? Yeah. Omar, do you yeah. drink on stage? I can't remember. I used to. I used to be a drinker on stage. Yeah. Like Broadway? Yeah. No, well, no, no, Guinness. not at Broadway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I used to at drink a lot of Guinness. Show. Guinness? I, no way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I used to have one, ass beer. Yeah, one <laughs> Guinness. Hilarious. One Guinness before I go on stage. That was always the rule. <laughs> and I remember when I did, I did a show at Gotham. I had a really good show, and I for like a good month, I was doing one Long, long Island iced tea. Oh, you told me this. You told yeah, me this. that was a little bit crazy. Yeah. That has every alcohol under the sun. Oh, yeah, it'll real, get you nice bro. and loose. <laughs> nice and loose, bro. But yeah, now I don't really drink that much. Also, Got we're around alcohol so much, and anytime is, we're performing, yeah. it's post you know 7 p.m. So like everybody in this crowd, for the most part, is drinking. So it's tough to avoid sometimes. I well, understand people who drink. Wait, so on stage. you got you got to drink like a certain alcohol, right? Because don't they have like gelatin in alcohol? And no, you can't- no, no, no. Most alcohols are vegan. Just like have wheat in it. But like vodka, tequila, some 
hard seltzers are all good to drink, but I just find that I can't really do it as much anymore just because my hangover ends up being 48 hours. Two for days. Real. Yeah, for real. Even if I have like four drinks, I'll really not feel well. I'm getting up there too, bro. I noticed that when I was 21, I used to go crazy. Dude, bro, like I could drink 12 drinks and then go to brunch the next morning and start drinking Indeed. the mimosas again. <laughs> Shit, I think I had like four beers the other day and I woke up and I was like, ah. You felt like, that, right? I felt, felt that. that. Yeah. What type of beers though? Not the Guinness, right? No, no. This is uh, Budweiser's. Budweiser's. Wow. Budweiser's. Even the light beers, I still feel like hurt my system. Yeah, so no, it fucks me up in the morning. I, I just can't do it no more. So you don't drink like two days. You be fucked up for two days. If I really drink, if I drink four drinks... Over the course of like an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah, I yeah, think so. Like, I, I really won't feel back to like my sharp self and like comfortable in the gym for probably 48 hours. Damn. It depends, man. But like I used to like walls. in college, I was drinking almost every single night, like mm. five plus drinks easy every night. Nice. Chiefs were super. I mean, <laughs> the cheaps were super drink. The <laughs> drinks were super cheap in Connecticut where no joke. We had this one night called nickel night where you could get four drinks for a dollar. So me and my boys, we would just so, like yo. get together four of us. And like the one person for that round had the one dollar each one dollar. So we each spend one dollar and have four drinks. It was crazy. And we used to get the Long Island iced teas Ooh. and I'd be passed out 830 p.m. with my <laughs> shoes on lights on in the dorm. That's how twisted we used Fucking. to get. Damn. Twisted that's tees, bro. A, that's a great. That's a great deal, man. That's a great dude. Ugh. The best deal. No, the were cheap. And then, dude, oh. I'd wake up the next morning at like seven thirty a.m. Like well re- rested, eleven hours sleep, ready later. to go, <laughs> just like you were good. What was your What was your first um, alcohol pass out? Because that's like a big one. Oh, a really bad one I had when I was sixteen <laughs> years old. Oh, God. I went to a club. Like my boy modeled in this walkway runway thing and. The guy whose clothing company it was was like, oh, come to the after party at 10 June, whatever. So I went <laughs> with my boy. He told me to come. We had free bottles, you know, vodka, tequila, yeah. uh, whatever. Unlimited vodka and tequila. I must have had 12 vodka cranberries. I was so fucked up. I stumbled out of the club, got in a cab. In the cab, I threw up on myself. I was just like, Mwah. and the guy in the backseat is like, what is going on back there, brother? Yo. And then like, he was like, get out of my cab. I start swiping. I try and swipe my credit card. I still to this day don't know if it got, went through or whatever. I'm sprinting down the street down to my apartment because I know that my apartment's like 500 feet away at this point. Yeah. I kick my back foot and I go flying Superman style, <laughs> go like 10 feet. And I just almost slice my face on the ground. I end up like having an enormous bruise on my arm just from protecting my face i wake up the next morning in a pool of like my own throw up i don't know if it's shit or throw up and it was just like it was so painful because i like i banged the fuck out of my body so that was my first like (laughs) oh fuck to this day if that cab driver didn't get his money at that particular time that was me and i'm sorry and i owe you probably 20 bucks (laughs) that was a crazy moment that was the first time when i know that you know, 15 years later, I'm like, I don't think I should drink that much. Damn. That's crazy. I freaking my first, I didn't drink until I was like 18, 18 years old. Was this before you went to the army? <laughs> this is after this is after. So once I'm mm-hmm. out and I'm on my way to, what was it called? Um, ITB infantry training base. Right, <laughs> well, I don't even know what the B meant really. <laughs> training battalion. Yeah, uh, hey, there we go. Training I was battalion. Like, I don't speak this language, bro. So we were on our way there, and I was like, "Bro," and we were in uh, North Carolina, and they were like, "Yo, you want to drink?" I was like, "I've never really done this before." They were like, "Yo, you know you can buy cigarettes and drink over here." I was like, "What?" Because you were eighteen. Eighteen, I could buy um, cigarettes, not the drinks though, but the mm-hmm. cigarettes I could buy. So I'm like, okay. I thought you could buy cigarettes as an 18 year old everywhere though. The no. laws had changed pretty recently. In New York, it was 21. Um, I mean, anywhere I've been, it was 21, but this is the first time in my life. I'm like 18. And I'm like, Oh shit. I yeah. could, I could really buy this shit. They bought liquor. We bought fucking all types of shit. Moonshine. We just Moonshine. Yeah. Going it was the one from Walmart. You just saying I was some country white guy. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of white guys. Moonshine. It was like, wait, well, I think it was like, what well, five black people really? Like five of us and in the whole ITB, yeah, and yeah, five black people and there's like a couple um Hispanics and like some. Uh, when my boy was Indian, and how many other people were white? Everybody. How many is everybody? Like, like, the, like the rest. So I'd be like, <laughs> out of five like people, like a thousand. <laughs> nah, it was like about a hundred twenty-five, one hundred thirty of us. All right. In, in the thing, so I was like, damn. 
But yeah, you you pick up the little things that they do. The southern people they dip. Yeah, a lot of chewing. You ever put a dip in before, yes, bro? You ever do it? I love. Bro, I don't, know, that? I, I I don't mind the dip, time, bro. I was playing two K one time my freshman year in high school. No, no, no. Excuse me. Freshman year in college, and a bunch of my boys who like went to Connecticut high schools and their baseball team, they put chewing tobacco in their lip. Okay, okay. So okay. I did it when I was playing two K, mm-hmm. bro. Um, I remember at one point my face just went completely white and my eyes were black like i couldn't see anything it was one of the scarier moments of my life That's doing crazy. dip people sometimes will react terribly to doing yeah a chewing tobacco first time is like bad it's like the first time i was like because I'm, I'm talking to these guys right it looks like prison really but i'm talking to these guys we sit on the bunk bed staying in the barracks yeah we're in the barracks literally and it's like a squad barracks so we're all together i'm sitting like on the bed next to him like he's shirtless i'm like Stretching, he's like, yeah. <laughs> Why were you stretching? I don't know. I always like stretching some stupid shit, you know. And you talk to them, and they're like, he's like, yo, uh, you ever tried a uh, um, dip? I was like, nah, uh, I never did it. And this is before you were smoking cigarettes a little bit. I already smoked a few cigarettes, okay, you know. So okay. I was already into the nicotine shit. You're ready for the second part. So he was like, yeah, you know, um, I got it right here. Look, you put it in your mouth, it makes your breath smell good, and and it's and it's cheaper than cigarettes. So then I was like, shit. He sold you on well, it. Well, let me really do, how do you do it? And he did it for me. He pulled my lip out and he put it in my lip. <laughs> and I was like, your lip. It was <laughs> weird. <laughs> touch hey, you. Yeah, he put, he touch your lip with tobacco. He did touch my lip, though. I ain't going front. He did. <laughs> he put it in, in my lip, bro. And I was like, it was so this bad. Crazy, dog. <laughs> what happened? You pass out? No, nah, I was real dizzy. Were you you liked it though? I didn't mind it. I didn't, I, I dipped for like that whole time there because I, I didn't. You couldn't smoke when you're on patrol or you're okay, hiking. Okay. So it was like you just put that shit in. You just walk around with it all day and you just spit. You know, it's a nice little spit. Nice little. Yeah, good, it's good. Never, good vibes. Yeah, I, I I can understand how people sometimes like. Mm-hmm. Or I don't really know if I can understand how people like it, but people do like it. And also, baseball players uh, they got the I, mouth full say, of yeah. seeds or the chewing tobacco. Yeah. I don't know. Do they allow chewing tobacco anymore? Not anymore. I think around like the late twenty tens, maybe or the late two thousands, they they banned it. What's wrong with it though? That's crazy. Uh, you know, it was back then, like. They didn't want the kids to see the players mm. doing it, so it that's like what happened this. a lot. Like you started to see little leaguers with big mouthfuls. Y- of like, Yo, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you see, yeah, I heard like it, it could cause cancer and shit. Yeah, like mouth it, cancer. It was like a big scare oh, yeah. or some shit like that. Yeah, that shit tastes gross too. It tastes that's horrible. Flavor, I want to try it once at least, though. We got, we got to do it with me. <laughs> All right, I've been I really, <laughs> the dip. You ain't gonna touch my lip, though, my nigga. You ain't gonna touch my lip, nigga. <laughs> touch your lip, <laughs> man. Put in your lip. <laughs> <laughs> so, boys, before we get out of here, you guys got anything exciting coming up at the end of the summer or what? Shout out your Instagrams before um, we get out of here. Also, yeah. Um, what I got is the Comedy Mob Festival, September seventeenth. So if you know me, pull up. I'm trying to bring a little bunch of people there. It's gonna be hey, fun. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely um gonna win the competition. Let's go. I love so that confidence, bro. It, it's love uh, confidence. it's, it's love gonna it. be fun. It's love gonna it. be fun. And uh, and I have the comic strip audition October 18th, a month from the day that I do the comedy mob festival. Okay. Audition okay. thing. And IG, bro, we'll pop it up. You can follow me at underscore Omar Jenkins. I'm there. Zuri, what about you, bro? Catch me at Eastville. Nah, I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> just, I ain't got shit going on, but book me for a show. Zuri, not sure. Amazing, boys. Omar, thank you so much for coming on. <laughs> Zuri, thank you so thank much you. for coming on. And Respect. we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.